What's up guys, Flaming Teeny here. Today I've got for you my competitive moveset guide to Blacephalon. Now before I talk about Blacephalon, I just want to point out, if you've missed any of my previous guides or showcases, I have a playlist with all of those videos, so make sure to check that out. Now, looking at Blacephalon, Blacephalon is basically a chandelure upgrade. It's got base 151 special attack, which is huge, letting it hit 401 with a neutral nature, and base 107 speed, which is very respectable. It's still slower than things like Keldeo, Kartana, Latios, and Gengar, but still a very respectable base speed. Now, Blacephalon has access to a really unique signature move called Mind Blown. So let's talk about that first. Mind Blown is a base 150 power special attack fire type move that makes the user use 50% of their maximum HP. Now, the way Mind Blown works is normally when you take recoil damage, like say, like from Stealth Rocks damage or something like that, the damage will round down. However, Mind Blown specifically rounds up damage. So even if Blacephalon is running an odd HP number, it will always die to two Mind Blowns, uh, unless it has an item like Leftovers or Citrus Berry or like Grassy Terrain is up or something like that. So. While Mind Blown is very, very strong, it will also make Blacephalon kill itself. So as though, even though that stands out as a signature move uh, for Blacephalon to use, it's only really going to appear on one or two sets. Now, the first set I want to talk about is Choice Specs. Now, because Blacephalon has such an insane special attack and respectable speed, Choice Specs is a very natural choice. It's got Stab Fire Blast, which is the main breaking move that does a ton of damage, Shadow Ball, which is, tends to be very spammable, especially if you can remove your opponent's dark types, that can easily spiral out of control and is very tough to stop, and Mind Blown. Mind Blown is just to have a very, very strong nuke that does very respectable damage even to resists. And finally, the last slot can be used for a lot of things. Uh, I have here Hidden Power Ground. What this allows you to do is allows you to hit Tyranitar and Heatran, two which are potential check slash like soft counters uh, or counters slash soft checks <laughs> to Blacephalon, but you can run a lot of things. You can also run HP Grass. This allows you to Oko Greninja on the switch if it tries to switch into like a spec Shadow Ball or Fire Blast, although spec Mind Blown will kill it as well. Um, you could run HP Ice. This allows you to Oko Landorus, I think Zygarde too, unless it's very specially defensive, uh, Garchomp, all of which you outspeed and Oko around right the spot. You can also run Trick just to cripple your opponent. And you can even run, like, you don't need to run Mind Blown because Mind Blown obviously has a downside of killing yourself. And if you get locked into it, it could put you into an awkward position where you want to save your Blacephalon, but you can't afford to switch out and not deal damage. Um, so you can run things like Flamethrower for the more accurate, more spammable, more PP, Fire Stab. Um, there's lots of options with Specs. Now, while Specs is a very good breaker, I think it suffers a little bit in this meta, and I'm going to jump to one of the counters for Blacephalon, which is Tyranitar. Assault Vest Tyranitar just completely hard stops Blacephalon. Now one of the few things that, I think basically the only thing that Chandelure has over Blacephalon is access to Energy Ball. Blacephalon literally has no coverage moves other than Hidden Power to hit Tyranitar. It could now, you may think Blacephalon can run Hidden Power Fighting to get past Tyranitar, but Hidden Power Fighting requires IVs that requires IVs such that there aren't base, like, when, um, in the new games, all, uh, all the Legendaries and Ultra Beasts have at least three minimum perfect IVs, however, HP Fighting has, I think, only one minimum perfect IV, maybe two, so because of that, no Legendaries are able to get Hidden Power Fighting from Gen 6 and onwards, and Blacephalon is one of those mons. So Blacephalon, I don't know if Ultra Beasts count as legendaries, but um, anyway, in general. So Blacephalon is not able to get Hidden Power Fighting, so that makes Tyranitar, especially the Assault Vest Tyranitar, a complete hard stop to specs. Now when things like Choice Band Tyranitar was more common, two Mind Blowns would theoretically almost knock out a T-Tar after rocks, two HP Grounds, two HP Grasses would do also do very similar damage. However, with the Assault Vest Tyranitar, Tyranitar switches in without worry, basically, on Blacephalon, and just removes it with Pursuit, which can cause a lot of problems for, Blacephal for Blacephalon. So I think if you're using... So one of the key things about Blacephalon that you have to keep in mind is versus a T-Tar, it's very, very difficult to make progress with Blacephalon. But if your opponent doesn't have T-Tar, you can do a lot of work. So Specs is a great breaker, unless you're facing a team with Tyranitar, especially the Assault Vest variant. Now, the next Blacephalon set I wanna talk about is Scarf. Now, Scarf 
is really really great um you'll notice that because Blacephalon has such a high base special attack stat that even with a timid nature its special attack stat is its highest stat and its beast boost is going to give it special attack boost and with base 107 speed which is very respectable choice scarf becomes a very good option now on a choice scarf set you definitely don't want to be using mind blown uh, you can use fire blast shadow ball the standard stabs and trick which is a very nice utility move on a scarf mod and then the last one is basically for whatever you want so flamethrower is the standard move if you just want that more consistent fire stab however let's say your weak your team is weak to volcarona you can run explosion or smackdown now explosion will allow you to with if you change your nature to like minus defense or something like that or minus special defense say you can explosion will be able to oko volcarona although if they switch out then you'll lose your blacephalon most probably without much value out of it so that's the risk of it smackdown will not oko volcarona but if you have priority on your team and you're okay with maybe volcarona possibly killing blacephalon based on its coverage like if it's psyche mz or something like that you can also settle for smackdown and so th those are some options that just give blacephalon a little bit more utility but I think Scarf in general is very nice because it allows Blacephalon to get that jump jump on some faster frailer mons and make use of its very very good special attack to potentially set up a sweep which is really nice and it, it's typing um it's typing is interesting it leaves it weak to Keldeo but it can sort of switch into cards things like Kartana um, Latios's Draco will probably do too much damage because it has low HP and not very good special defense. But depending on the situation, this Scarf Blacephalon can definitely do well. You can even run uh, options like Hidden Power Ice, again, to hit Garchomp, Lando, Zygarde. Things, coverage moves like that are always an option on Blacephalon. Although I do think Trick is a very good option to keep uh, on the Scarf set. Now the next set I want to talk about is Calm Mind. Now you'll notice all these sets have the same problem with Tyranitar, there's not much you can do about it. Um, there are a few things, but we'll talk about it. Now one of the things Calm Mind does, well first let's let's just talk about the basics. So we're going to be using Flamethrower instead of Fire Blast because we want more consistent PP uh, and a stab that doesn't miss. And we're going to be using a Ghost MZ. What this allows us to do is when you get the plus one, with the Calm Mind and then click Z Shadow Ball versus a Toxapex. I think it'll nearly KO or KO depending on the rules and whether you have Stealth Rocks damage on it or not. But it's, I think, probably the most flexible option for Blacephalon in terms of attack coverage choice. Now, the last slot is based on what you want to try to do with Blacephalon. So I'd say Substitute is more geared to Dirt's doing well in general and specifically versus offense like let's say your opponent tries to switch in like let's say a weavile predicting a ghost move and they want to pursue you and you substitute and you can now flamethrower the weavile or let's say they switch in their tyranitar and you substitute now you can switch out on the pursuit and keep your blacephalon alive um let's say that they stayed in trying to predict you to double out predicting their tyranitar you just click substitute and they don't end up breaking it or they or even if they do break it you're still safe mostly so substitute gives you a lot of flexibility the other thing it does it does it does help you break stall because you when you click substitute chancy will not be able to touch you because blacephalon is a ghost type so it's not it's immune to seismic toss and the substitute will protect it from toxic and at plus six flamethrower will clearly to a easily to a ko the chancy so at that point the rail only stops to blacephalon is Potentially Clefable, maybe if it's unaware and especially defensive. Toxpex if it can haze you. Sableye if it's healthy and li healthy enough to live your boosted hits. That's basically all there is. However, if you want to be especially good at breaking stall, then Taunt's the right option for you. Uh, at plus one, Z Shadow Ball will KO Mega Sableye, even the most especially defensive Sableye. It's a role in Blacephalon's flavor. Uh, so you'll be able to KO Sableye after a plus one with the Ghostium. You can easily set up on things like Skarmory, um, even Chansey if you taunt it, uh, possibly Clefable. You can taunt Clefable to prevent it from healing. You can taunt Toxapex to stop it from hazing after you consume your, your Z Shadow Ball. And it really helps with, uh, of course, you taunt Chansey and prevent the Toxic. And all of that together can really help Lissathlon just roll through the stall team the only real danger to it is if your opponent plays very very smart and carefully and manages to switch in sableye 
on a taunt, bouncing it back to the Blacephalon, and then going to their Chansey so they can click Toxic. That's really the only way that Blacephalon would not be able to break, but even in that situation, you could switch out and come back in. So unless Stall sort of changes how it's structured right now, Blacephalon with, with Calm Mind and Taunt and Ghostium can be a very effective Calm Mind breaker. And finally, Blacephalon has a lot of options. So it has base 127 attack and access to knockoff, which is a decent utility move that won't be particularly weak. It has access to Will-O-Wisp, so you can burn things like Tyranitar if that sort of crippling thing is interesting to you. An option on choice specs, I forgot to mention this, uh, but I kept it here in other options, is Psyshock. What this allows you to do is always cleanly two-hit KO a Toxapex. So that can always be useful on the choice spec set. And the last option, Sunny Day. Now, this is an option that I feel like is a bit not so good now, uh, with Assault Vest Tyranitar being the most common set, and it's still completely stopping Blacephalon. But if if your opponent's running like a Choice Band and Tyranitar, use Sunny Day on the switch and then go for like, let's say a Z Mind Blown with the Fire Z. The Fire Z is actually not gonna power up Mind Blown that much. It's from 150 to 200, which is a 33% increase, but it's not as significant as most other Z moves, which can be near like near 100% increase. Uh, all Sometimes they like almost double the damage that you're doing. But um, the Z Mind Blown, at least it'll stop Blacephalon from killing itself and it'll do a bit more damage. And I think it might even be able to get the KO versus Tyranitar. Let's actually just check just to see how strong Blacephalon really is. Uh, I think I haven't imported any of my sets yet, but that's okay. Mind Blown, Z Move in the Sun, 80 to 94 with rocks, that is a... 43.8% chance to knock out. So, and that's with zero bulk and Tyranitar. So, as you can see, Tyranitar is easily, basically, the best Blacephalon counter. And Will Wisp only takes off 1 16th of its health, and Pursuit will still basically completely remove Blacephalon from the game. So, it doesn't really help that much, even though you can run it if you want. And Tyranitar just hard stops Blacephalon. There's nothing you can do. Like, you go, you can't have HP fighting, you go for a uh, Specs HP ground, a Specs HP grass, it's gonna do nothing. Let's just calc Tyranitar Assault Vest. I don't think I have one uh, imported, so let's just Assault Vest. Oh, Aspir Berry. <laughs> assault Vest, let's give Tyranitar an Assault Vest, give it 192 careful, and let's give this thing HP ground in the sand with a choice specs basically and yeah 22 to 26 which is very very sad oh um this is 248 there we go 18 to 22 so literally nothing blacephalon literally cannot get past tyranitar now of course every team you're not going to face a tyranitar on every single team even though tyranitar is incredibly good right now assault this tyranitar also being a very good check to naganadel if you're having trouble with that but um Another potential answer, especially defensive Heatran, it can, it's immune to all the fire moves, and it can switch into two Shadow Balls, go for an Earth Power, go for a Toxic, maybe this Protect to stall out a little bit more. Obviously, an HP Ground will completely bop the Heatran, and it'll still like give you some more like middle ground plays. Like, let's say they want to switch in a Rock type, you still hit that Rock type, and you hit the Heatran or whatever. So, or you can run eight. Now, another check, a very soft check, is Greninja. Specs Greninja with Water Shuriken can do, do damage to the Scarf set. Uh, it can switch in at least once to Blacephalon unless it switches into an HP Grass, which isn't very common. And it can, obviously, its stabs completely counter. Uh, Blacephalon stabs, it's typing just Water Dark versus Fire Ghost. This is very good. So, of course, Greninja is also going to be a nice check to Blacephalon, but it's not going to be the greatest switch in because, like, for example, a Choice Specs Shadow Ball will easily to a KO Greninja. I think even a Specs Mind Blown will KO Greninja. So, Greninja is not that bulky, so you don't want to be a major switch in. You don't want Heatran to be your major switch in, especially if it's not specially defensive. Most of them aren't. Most of them are usually running a lot of speed instead. So, Tyranitar definitely is the best counter to Blacephalon. It basically invalidates Blacephalon. But other than that, Blacephalon is very, very strong and very effective. So these are the sets. Um, I think another set is Leftovers on Blacephalon uh, with Calm Mind. But I honestly think Ghostium is a bit better. But if you don't have room for the Z move, you can definitely use Leftovers. Um, and I think that's 
basically all the options, basically playing with hidden powers, tricks, and its main stabs, and calm mind and taunt. Those are the main things. Of course, these are other options. I wouldn't really use sunny day or knockoff or willow. Honestly, I wouldn't use any of these personally because I feel like they're very, very special specific and I feel like most teams would not need these very specific move slots but there are options on Blacephalon. Blacephalon has a lot of options. Flame Charge actually, it's interesting. Um, pain Split. <laughs> oh actually, Sub Split could actually do a lot of damage to Tranitar, probably. Although it's probably not worth it. <sighs> Toxic. I mean it has a lot of options, unfortunately it doesn't have any options to hit Tyranitar. But yeah, that's Blacephalon. Hope you guys found that helpful. Helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, that's it. See you guys later.